in uh, Albania, Tirana. Shit is crazy. It's the uh, noisy as hell. It's like uh, getting slapped in the face with noise every time you go outside. Yeah, it's amazing though. The mosque action. And uh, I walked through this uh, this town square yesterday. And uh, you know, a lot of uh, these town squares in Europe they, you know, they put some stuff in there, uh, some fountains, benches, you know. Nah, not here. They took this the square part real seriously. <laughs> it's this expanse of just paved nothingness. Um, yeah, I had a hell of a time getting here. Um, getting the bus from Kosovo was an absolute nightmare. I uh, went to the bus station like around 11.30. And they told me, okay, there's a bus, uh, 12.30, just wait at Platform 8. Yeah, so I wait there, one hour, wait at Platform 8, no bus. I go back, they're like, oh, yeah, 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 just, uh, next bus, next bus, 3.30. Just come and meet us at 3.15, we'll show you the bus. All right, no worries. So I meet them, 3.15, oh, actually the office is closed, they're fucking gone. <laughs> so I wait, I wait, yeah, no bus, no bus. Uh, they, and I found out the next bus is 5.30, maybe it stops outside the front, so I went out there, eventually I got my bus, but uh, yeah, sick uh, six hours of waiting in the bus stop, it was, uh, it was not my favourite time. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling this is going to be one of those depressing architecture kind of towns. I got no idea what this thing is, but uh, I know one thing for sure, is I love a structure that makes me feel like my death is uh, imminent when I walk on it. It's nice and spiky, highly confusing. I'm going to give this one a, a, a 15 out of 10. So you get some uh, interesting stuff in your country when it's been run by a uh, crazy commie dictator. I really wanted to uh, visit the, the Kami Pyramid, but uh, unfortunately it's, it's closed for construction. But we do have this absurdly large park with a massive man-made lake right here in the center. The scale of this park is just ridiculous, man. My god, entering this park was a mistake. I don't think I'm ever getting out. I've been here for hours. <laughs> it's, it's all over for me. Send help. Send help! View from the top of the cable car. Didn't get a return ticket though, so not exactly sure how I'm gonna get down. It's possibly a four or five hour walk, let's find out. Check it out. Abandoned hotel up here on this mountain. Crazy man. to the Albanian Alps apparently. So, should be doing a nice bit of hiking over the next few days. 
head out to the mountains. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool old place. I've headed to the outskirts of the city, out to see the lake, and yeah, the neighborhood go definitely gets a lot more interesting out this way. <laughs> uh, you gotta love that beautiful, unspoiled nature. <laughs> Classic, right? Always nice coming across one of the old bunkers from the old crazy dictator. So I thought I'd be able to find a nice place to hang out. Sit on a bench, read a book or something around this lake, but... You know, good luck finding something that's not covered in uh, shit and rubbish. So, probably just gonna hang out around this abandoned building. It's also covered in shit and piss, but you know, slightly less. Farmhouse in uh, Teff. What a location, man. Absolutely beautiful. And best of all, tonight we got uh, a fresh slaughtered pig just for us today. You gotta love that. Looking for dinner. Crystal clear. Crystal clear. Crystal clear! <laughs> Even out here, middle of fucking nowhere, there's still commie bunkers protecting us from the west. That is just picturesque as fuck. Say it with me, bro. Crystal clear! Crystal clear! <laughs> this right here, best way to hitchhike. <laughs> Jump on the top of a fucking truck. Oh man, living the dream. Ooh boy. Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I recommend if you're going to uh, Teth, just jump on the back of someone's truck. 
It's definitely the better option. Man, you don't want to be going off the side of this. Awesome, thank you, thank you. <laughs> bye bye, ciao. It's a thing for me. Oh man, what a way to get to the hiking path, bro. Look, sir. I really want to walk. And you can get religious up here as well. On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair. Welcome to Blue Eye. Mr. Blue Eye, do you tell us why you had to hide away for so long? So long! But crystal clear, my man. Crystal clear. <laughs> yeah, this uh, mini master. <laughs> How's the water, man? It's so <laughs> Oh, this <is> suffering. <laughs> this is a blue eye. The actual blue eye. We previously went to that bridge before, had a nice jump in the water. And now, like everyone else here, freezing our tits off. <laughs> do it in the undies, I don't do it though. <laughs> well. Jumping into freezing water, checking out the blue eye. Lovely time was had by all. Ah, Albanian Alps, baby. So the Adriatic port of Albania. There's a lot of uh, Roman stuff here and a beach. You can catch a ferry over to Italy. The whole place has kind of a budget Italy kind of feel to it, I guess. Albanian beaches, huh? Uh, beautiful. <laughs> What an odd juxtaposition we have here between this uh, Roman era stuff and these apartment blocks. Yeah, holy shit. Check this thing out. Roman amphitheatre. That's amazing. Built in around 100 AD. That is nuts. Oh shit. It's cold at prayer time. Okay. Hey, yeah, more ancient stuff. If you can't afford Italy, definitely come here. <laughs> well, the Venetian tower is close to repairs, but that won't stop me from messing around in this abandoned building instead. Even better, modern day archaeology. stuff now. This is dope. 
honestly, this might be my favourite uh, abandoned building that I've been in so far. When you come up here, you've got this killer view of the sea. Like, check this shit out. This is better than the actual, like, bars and restaurants and tourist places. And you've got this madness in here. Oh, this is just top billing. All this all the burnt out stuff. Check this out, it must have been part of a bar or something. And the roof coming down. Oh man, this stuff is like crack to me. Hello, this is Buran. Super touristy, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty beautiful place. Big castles, churches on the hills. Lots of old uh, houses, nice mountains. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Having a bit of a walk up to Barak Castle. Although, castles in Europe are a bit like temples in Asia after a while. <laughs> it's a nice view on top of the castle. Well, I gotta say, I didn't expect people to be like driving cars on top of it. And there's, there's even a Jehovah's Witness over here trying to convert people. <laughs> Never miss an opportunity for a bit of creeping. out the other side to the castle. Great view from up here. And the best thing, there's absolutely no one up here for the entire climb. Well, except for one guy and his donkey. The, the castle is just packed with tourists and, and the Jehovah's Witnesses and stuff. Yeah, I much prefer this side. killer hostel in uh, Elbasan. It's uh, basically just uh, this lady's house. It's awesome. There's food growing everywhere, chickens all over the place, um, fresh fresh eggs in the morning, the whole deal. It's pretty awesome. The uh, reason that I'm in Elbasan is that, uh, you know, I was looking at a bus timetable coming out of Barat and there was all these places that people uh, have been recommending me to go, you know, more old towns, more castles, all this nice stuff. And uh, then there's this place that I've never heard of. No one has ever recommended me to go. Probably no one has ever recommended anyone to go. <laughs> so I thought, fuck it, I'll go. And um, yeah, it's super cool, actually. Uh, it's very local. As soon as I got off the bus, uh, Everyone's kind of staring at me like, you know, what, what the hell is this guy doing here, you know, <laughs> with the backpack and everything. Uh, so I'm just wandering around and uh, checking things out. These Albanian guys are just yelling at me as I came up here to invite me to come and drink with them. So I guess that's, uh, that's the next step once I finish checking out all this abandoned stuff. Yeah, I was talking to those guys in that bar. They're like, what are you doing in Elbasan? I don't know, just, just checking it out, I guess. And they're like, oh, like you're stopping off on your bus or something. I'm like, no, I'm staying here for three days. They looked at me with this expression of like horror. <laughs> I mean, it is a bit of a random place to be fair, um, but it's working out well. The hostel put me in a private because, you know, it's, uh, it's empty, of course, and six and a half euro a night, uh, cheap as. Yeah, I ended up really in the middle of nowhere. I was walking through some sort of ghetto and there was like cows all over the streets and old people uh, like stopping me and going like, don't walk here and all this stuff. Like, oh well, that's what it's all about. Yeah. 